morning. The DDH is fairly common, however, the periostabular osteotomy is a not very common procedure here in Israel, at least as far as I know. Uh, it was uh, uh, described by Gans in 1983 and published in uh, 88. He published the modest experience of 75 cases. Since then, it was popularized by many groups. Uh, the main goal of the period tabular osteotomy is to reorient this plastic acetabulum to improve coverage, to increase the load-bearing area and improve uh, hip joint stability. It definitely has a few advantages compared to the other osteotomies, such as uh, preserving the posterior column, uh, making it stable and uh, requiring less fixation. The true pelvis is preserved uh, allowing uh, the normal vaginal delivery. The lever and the lever abductors actually is improved and uh, adductors are not uh, stripped from the uh, uh, pelvis. Has a classic indication of mild to moderate hip dysplasia. Later uh, during the years it was switched to uh, more severe cases. Uh, it also taken care or can take care of uh, retroverted acetabulum with the posterior wall deficiency and posterior uh, hip joint instability. Uh, one of the classic indications is also the uh, instability with, anti with acetabular antiversion. Uh, it's usually performed in patients with the age up to 35 with mild or no arthritic changes in, uh, in the hip joint at the x-ray. Uh, in terms of contraindications, uh, the main prerequisite for the uh, uh, PO is uh, congruency after that. And if you're not, if you're not going to be able to achieve that congruency, you should not do the uh, osteotomy such as uh, uh, non-spherical femoral heads or acetabular is smaller than the, fem uh, than the femoral head. In, it's not uh, done uh, in a very young patient, like younger than 10 and 11, because of the three radiate cartilage. Uh, assessing the dysplasia, we usually measure the lateral central and anterior central edge angles. Uh, they have their own uh, numbers. Different measures like head and extrusion index, uh, Shenton line, joint spine width, uh, uh, anterior coverage is uh, performed, uh, is assessed during the false profile view. And anterior dysplasia is actually can be assessed only in the false profile view. Uh, I'm not going to speak about the technique, just to mention that it's polygonal osteotomy, preserving the posterior uh, column of the pelvis. Uh, we tried to summarize our experience when we had the impression that we have bigger number of the males that you, than, than we expect than usual than expected. We had that feeling of uh, dealing a lot with the severe deformities. And uh, um, we also had a question, how many, how many femoral osteotomies we do together with the PAO? So we retrospectively re reviewed last 10 years charts and x-rays, uh, saying that we uh, said that we will define the dysplasia like uh, less than 20 degrees in anterior central edge and like than 16 degrees on lateral central edge angles, uh, actually eliminating the mild or borderline cases. So we found 21 patients, 27 hips were operated during that period. Uh, just, to, just to mention that normal lateral central edge angle is 25 to 45, uh, and the anterior is uh, uh, 25 to 50. Uh, that the list of different measurements we performed and the results. We found that we have about 30% males. Uh, almost half of the cases were bilateral. In 50%, we had to add femoral osteotomy to the periacetabular osteotomy. And the aged was, uh, median was 18, but the youngest patient was 11 and the oldest was 39. Half of our patients needed blood uh, uh, transfusion, which means that half of the patients did not need blood transfusion. Uh, we had a few complications. 
few major like massive PE in one of the cases, uh, dislodgement of the peristabular uh, fragment which required redo surgery, and a few minors like one of the quad weakness which resolved finally, permanent myralgia peristatica, and uh, asymptomatic non-union of pubic osteotomy. Uh, I'm trying to represent here the uh, measurement, the results pre and post-op, while well, blue one are the pre-op measurements and the post-op are uh, orange. Lateral central edge angle was negative in many cases, as well as anterior central edge angle was close to zero, which indicates really severe cases of dysplasia. Head extrusion it's actually a little bit uh, different in, in, in terms of measurements, but the head extrusion index uh, was improved from 55 to 22 millimeters, not degrees. Uh, Tony's grading uh, mostly didn't change. Four hips showed uh, worsening by one, gra one grade, and six, six hips improved by one grade uh, in, on the x-rays. Just a few illustrative cases to go through. 12 years old goat, uh, girl, uh, never treated before, showed up with left hip pain and um, diagnosed with severe bilateral dysplasia. Finally needed stage, definitely stage bilateral PO with femoral osteotomy with uh, the radiological result showing the uh, reconstitution of the hip, good coverage, good Chenton line, no lateralization. 14 years old boy, you can see that uh, the x-ray of the age of one has practical no dysplasia, but later at, uh, at the age of 14, complaining of the hip pain, you can uh, assess that his lateral central edge angle close to zero and needed uh, uh, right side uh, uh, PO with the femoral lateral osteotomy. That the lady, the oldest one with left hip uh, dysplasia, and that's the lady that had uh, that pubic uh, uh, delayed or non-union, and uh, he's fairly as he, she's asymptomatic, so we're not going to uh, intervene here. Uh, 31 years old lady with a family history of uh, DDH and uh, diagnosed with right DDH. Uh, over the course of 10 years, she was complaining of the groin pain and finally decided to do the surgery. Uh, and you can judge that our fixation is probably too medial. And fair enough, uh, she had that uh, dislodgement of the fragment, which was recognized early, like day two after the surgery, she felt some click. And we did the post-op exit, which we usually not performed. And, uh, uh, redo was performed three days later with a uh, uh, good final result and she is full weight bearing and very much asymptomatic. So we had almost a third of the patient a male. We dealt with uh, mostly severe dysplasia cases with acceptable, I think at least acceptable percentage of uh, complication, achieving uh, reasonable and good results. And thank you to Dr. Simonovsky, he is our guru pioneer, teacher, instructor, and inspire in PO surgery. Thank you.